to our channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much yeah, yeah. if you're new here you're welcome and thank you for watching kindly yeah. subscribe yeah why are we here today so today mm -hmm. we want to tell you about the ways you can migrate to canada i think this is the most requested video everybody's waiting for yes Oh, uh, the pressure was just <laughs> overwhelming. We had so many requests and we thought, okay, we can reply to all of you. you guys, so yeah. we just want to give you an introduction of all the different ways that you can migrate, migrate yeah. to Canada yeah. so that um, then we will touch on each of them later in different videos. Yeah. So, so yeah. So today is just going to be about ways you can migrate here. Um, I believe there are several ways. Uh, we'll just touch on four. Yeah, four ways. Yeah, we'll do four, four ways. ways. Um, yeah, four ways. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, disclaimer: We are not immigration uh, of lawyers. Course. We are not licensed immigration. No. Yeah. It's just purely based on what's on IRCC, that's the Immigration Refugee uh -huh. Citizenship <laughs> website. Uh <-huh. laughs> wow. IRCC is the Canadian Immigration website. Yeah. So it's yeah. based on what's there and based on our experience that yeah. we're giving you this information. Yeah. But in the subsequent videos that we'll do, we'll make sure to do deeper research and then give you more information on the different ways that we'll talk about. So just a um, brief introduction yeah. about the ways you can come to Canada. Yeah, so, so we begin with um, the Federal Skill Worker Program. You want to talk about it? Yes, so um, the Federal Skilled Worker Program mm -hmm. is for those of you outside of Canada yeah. and you have work experience and yeah. you want to come to Canada. Canada. So, so yes, that will be the program for you and it is under the Express Entry um, yeah. program. That yeah. one will also touch on that later but yes so the federal skilled uh program will be for those of you that are outside of canada and you have work experience the good thing about this program is that you can come here direct as, as a, permanent a permanent resident, resident. once you get that you'll be able to leave settle here you can work for any employer you are not restricted uh yes. so that's the good thing about this program it's called the federal skill worker, worker program. program and you don't need a job offer before you even apply you don't need a job need offer a job. and so that is that for the federal skill worker program the next one will be a steady permit um this is how she was able to come here yes. would you like to talk about that yes so... at least she has an experience in that world so yes. it's best to hear from her you know <laughs> So, uh, steady, steady visa or steady permit is another way you can come to Canada. Mm -hmm. With this one, you definitely need a school. You need to get an admission mm -hmm. to a school. So you need to look for a school and how you get to, we will do a video on that alone. So yeah. you get to know more about you that. You getting a school so or the ways you can get, uh, schools, schools here. Schools, yes. Uh, the whole vibe about steady visa. We'll yes. do a video on that. Yeah. Yes. So when you get the steady, steady visa, visa mm -hmm. and you come as a student, number one, if your program is one year long, you mm -hmm. will get, uh, one, and a half year postgraduate permit okay but if your program is two years long which is what is recommended if it's two years long you get three years postgraduate permit and okay. what that means is that after school you get to work for that amount of years and okay. while you're working then you can apply for your permanent residency within that um three years or one and a half year yeah so, so the postgraduate work permit it's so the canadian government once you've come here to study with all the knowledge you've acquired 
they don't want you to go back home and use it there they want you to stay and you know they also want to benefit from what you've learned in school so they give you that permit for you to be able to stay here for a number of years to work and in that during that period you can be able to apply for your permanent residency yes so uh though that's also another way to come to canada and while you are a student the good thing is you can work yeah. you can work while you're a student when yeah. i was coming you could only work for 20 hours but now it's been changed you can work full time while you are a student yeah. so that is also a good thing so you can make money while you're yeah. you're schooling but yeah the, so the, so that is that so the, that, that's study yeah. permit so to uh summarize it uh once you get your study permit and you're able to come to canada after school you get your postgraduate work permit and in that period you, you can, can apply for your permanent, permanent residency yeah yeah so that's that's for the study, study routes and the other one is work permits so that is how I came in here. So with the work permit, they have it in two forms. They have the open work permit and they have the closed work permit. What it means is that with the open work permit, you are not restricted. You can work for any employer here in Canada. Uh, that is how come I came here. I came um, to Canada with an open work permit. And there are ways you can get an open work permit. There are circumstances that can earn you an open work permit. Because Sonia was here and because we are common law partners, based on that, uh, and she's been here as a student, based on that, I was able to come. Uh, you know, Canada encourages family. They always want to unite family. So I was able to get my open work permit and that's how come I came here and yeah. I'm able to work for any employer. I'm not restricted. So that is open work permit for you. And then we have the closed work permit. So for the closed work permit, that is for those outside Canada that wants to come in here to work. And the, how it works is that with closed work permits, you are tied to one employer. When you get to Canada, you can only work for that employer. You can't work for any other employer because it's a closed work permit. Um, the process uh, or how it works. You, you know, need to get uh, an offer letter. You mm -hmm. need to get a job. Mm -hmm. Technically, you need to get a job before you can apply for the closed work permit. So the person that the employer that is giving you that offer mm -hmm. will give you an LMIA, which is labor market assessment. assessment Labor, impact, labor market, market impact, impact assessment. assessment so that is the offer letter or yes that's what you use to apply for your work per, the closed work permit and when you come to canada mm -hmm. you be you can only work for that employer so for you a period so of the, time. the same thing here when you work for that employer for one year you yeah, can you apply can for your permanent residence both scenarios you have to work for one year and after that year you can apply for your permanent residency and now the good news is that with the work permit mm -hmm. now when you come to canada you can also stay with that you can apply yeah. for a study it's it's a new thing they don't need a can, visa they just uh, amended the laws yeah a study permit when you come in as a worker so that you can school also if you want to yeah, yeah. So to recap it, uh, we've touched on which one? Federal Skill Worker Program. Steady. We've touched on the study and permit and then the work. So the last one will be the visitor's visa. visa. You want to talk about yes. it? Yes. So that one is exciting. The visitor's visa. There's mm -hmm. been some new laws that makes it even more exciting. Okay. So we have visitor's visa basically coming to Canada to visit. It doesn't matter how, whether yeah. you're a tourist, you've been invited, whether you're coming for a conference, business, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But once you come in as a visitor, guess what? You can stay and work. If you get a work, if you get a job offer, so if you get a job offer as a visitor, you can apply for a work permit and bam, same process. Once you get a work permit, you work for the employer for one year, you can stay and then become a permanent residence. Yeah. Too. So that's 
that's the exciting news about the visitor visa. It's something new that came up. The the immigration minister of immigration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he so. said he yeah they made that new rule. So yes, and there are different ways to come as a visitor through tourists through relative, relative uh, visit, business, uh, business. Conference. Yeah. So those are the four ways those are or four the ways, ways you can migrate here. To summarize. The ways you can come to Canada, you yeah. can come through the Federal Skilled, Skilled Worker, Worker Program. Program. Yeah. You can come as a student, yeah. you can come as a worker, yeah. and you can come as a visitor. And yeah. all these ways lead you to becoming a permanent resident in Canada. Yeah, so, so we're going to you. touch on each of them in other videos. And so we want to thank you for listening. Yes, uh, if you're new here and you're watching, Kindly subscribe. Thank you for listening. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and for all those who have subscribed. Thank you very Nambu much. Thank very much. you. We'll see you in an other videos. Other videos. Stay please. safe. Yeah. Uh, if you be have good. any questions regarding drop them. immigration, kindly drop them in the comments. Comment we'll try to address all of them. Yeah. And thank you. Bye bye. bye.